for today's pollinator habitat tip. It is seed cleaning season here at Conservation Blueprint. And I thought we would just take you through the process of how we go from collecting seed in the field and take it through a process to produce a finished product available for pollinator projects. Today we're gonna to talk about a plant species called Baldwin's ironweed. It's one of my favorites. And I like it because it flowers late in the year. It's attractive to a really wide range of pollinator species, especially native bees. And it tends to persist and hang on in a planting for a long period of time. Three great attributes for why we want it in a pollinator planting, but this species is hard to find to include in a mixture. That's why we want to make sure and harvest it and have it available. So here's our six step process. Step number one is we hand harvest this seed from our native grasslands late in the year when the seed is ripe and ready to be harvested. Step number two is with all of our seed, we bring it back to the conservation blueprint shop and the first thing that we do is blow air on it so that we can make sure that this seed is fully dried and ready to be cleaned. So here is one of our bags of dried Baldwin's ironweed clippings. We harvested over 100 pounds this year. And now we're ready to go on to the next step of taking all of this vegetative material that includes seeds and turn it into a finished product. Step number three is where we start our screening process. So now we take all the dried materials and we pass it through a 0.08 gauge heavy duty screen. And this begins the process of removing stems and other large plant parts from the product. So here's what we look like after screening number one. Lots of seed in here, but obviously there's all kinds of other material that we still have to get out of here. Step number four is where we take all the material that came through screening number one and we run it through a smaller screen, hand rubbing it to begin the process of separating the seed from the plume and the rest of the chaff. Now we have a very different looking product, but we still have a bunch of seed that is attached to the plume, so we're going to need to work this just a little bit more. Step number five is our final screening process where we use a very, very fine screen and we rub the material vigorously through here to separate the last of the seed from the plume. Here's what we look like after going through the final screening process. Doesn't look like much yet, does it? But all the seed is in here and it's been separated from the plume and it's ready to go to our sixth and final step. Our sixth and final step in this process is where we run all of that material through this piece of machinery called a fractioning aspirator. The fractioning aspirator allows us to regulate the amount of product that enters into the machine. And when that product enters the machine, we're also able to regulate both the volume and the speed at which the air enters the system so that we're separating the product out with the heaviest weight material entering the first tray, in this case our Baldwin's ironweed seed, and then successively lighter and lighter weight materials are blown up the shaft and fall into three different boxes, separating everything by weight. It's kind of like the fish ladder of the seed cleaning world. Well, in the end, our six pretty simple cleaning stages took about 100 pounds of Baldwin's ironweed collected from our native grasslands and produced over 20 pounds of clean, pure Baldwin's ironweed seed. Collecting the seed from really important pollinator species, cleaning it up, and then making it available to go into more pollinator projects, now that's great habitat.